December 10th, 2018, or probably it's actually December 11th, out camping at uh, Finger Lakes National Forest, out by Foster Pond, up from Chicken Coop Road where I normally camp, but uh, you know, it's winter now, so the uh, road is seasonal use only, and uh, I wasn't gonna go, wasn't gonna risk getting stuck and have to deal with getting out know, that tight little campsite, plus some tent camping, so uh, you know, it works fine to just uh, be set up like this. Uh, this is the campsite, real short ways from Foster Pond parking lot, and um, yeah, I ran. I actually ran power back here. <laughs> Had to run it up in the air because the um, I didn't want things to short out. Even though things aren't ground referenced, so it wouldn't short out to the ground, it could definitely short out. You know, between the hot and the and the return. So yeah, don't know how much power we have tonight because. Um, well, it's a bright and sunny day, the sun angle just sucks because the sun is so far south at this point. So, you know, it's hitting the panel at, uh, I don't know, 30 degrees being a flat panel on the truck. And I can totally understand why people say, oh, and I, get, I use 100 generator hours in the uh, December for uh, power and they're off grid because it's just tough with uh, the sun angle. But, uh, yeah. So, it was nice camping here last night. It wasn't too cold. It got cold later on. You know, I actually didn't turn the heater on till uh, late, till after eight o'clock by the fire when the fire basically died down. I didn't feel like built up the fire, so I figured I'd save some wood and I just use the heat. I mean, it doesn't use that much uh, propane. I have a full tank or did have a full tank when I started out the trip, so, and propane's 250 a gallon at this point, so it's cheaper than gasoline. And I mean, if I use a gallon a night, that's that's a lot of propane probably use like three quarters a gallon or half a gallon which I mean I know that's that's not cheap if you're getting the uh, pound cylinders that you know it's it's uh, four of those pound cylinders per gallon or so but uh, when you're buying at 250 a gallon at uh, tractor supply company it's not so bad yeah so here's camp as I said it's a beautiful day very clear last day of uh, regular hunting season so there's been a lot of hunters in and out you know starting around 5 30 in the morning but, uh, yeah. This evening I'm going to make like a uh, stew up on the stove. I got some stewing beef and I have some chicken too. I don't know which I'll put in there. Probably use the stewing beef and I'll stew that up and fry the chicken up later on. Uh, you know, on a different day. It makes have a nice stew. It's a nice day so I have time to cook. Tomorrow I'm going to probably go down to Watkins Glen. Because there's a couple few things I might want to pick up. And, uh, it might be nice for a hike on the, uh, I know the gorge is closed, but above the gorge is open. Um, so that might be fun to check it out. We'll see what it looks like in the winter. Because, I mean, there is, I said, six, six inches of the snow here. So it's definitely winter. But, uh, yeah, I've had a good time. I mean, it would, would have been warmer if I could be able to get here in November. But, you know, the weather and everything else didn't cooperate. So and I had to work in November. So... Here in December, here for, I don't know if it'll be a full week, but uh, at least a few more days, I suspect. And, uh, yeah, I'll have a nice fire again tonight, and uh, have the heater and the tent, so I'll stay warm tonight. I haven't used the heater at all since I got up, or since probably about 8, eight or 9 o'clock, because it's been fairly warm here. I had a pair of jeans, got a little wet around the cuffs, so I hung them up, and... Uh, and even though it is kind of cold, uh, it is sunny and the air is very dry, so they dried really quickly. So that's uh, camp. We're at four minutes, so I'm going to shut things off.